and welcome to another tip video but not on Inventor no this is a generic tip video it's all about Autodesk community and you'll have come across this website before I've absolutely no doubt about it if you've googled anything on Inventor or you know AutoCAD you'll have come across a link on Google which has directed you to this website but you might not have stuck around and if you haven't, I want to take this opportunity, and hopefully you'll stick with me here, to explain what this website is all about, because it's more than just a forum. And I want to just, you know, I want to enlighten you to, to all the different things you can do here. So this is the Autodesk community website. Now, without sort of explaining the, the history, Autodesk have taken everything that they've ever had on the internet, community-wise, and amalgamated it all into one website, which is this one here. So if you go to forums.autodesk.com in your interwebs browser, it'll take you to this page. Now, I highly recommend that once you're here, you register and create an account. It's free. You don't get spammed or anything. It's nothing like that. It's all legit. Uh, it's free. Create a free account. Once you're registered, you'll be given a tailored, customized experience for you. So everything that you see here is tailored to you. Your activity, anything you subscribe to within the forums and the community area. You've got a toolbox on the right-hand side, again, customized to you. It looks at what you access the most, and it'll dump it all down there. And, yeah, you can. it's got a private messaging system, so you can email people between, you know, in the community and send messages to each other. You can edit your signature and subscriptions and emails and stuff like that so you can do all kinds of stuff in here it's re it's a really brilliant website what can you get out of it though right well there's I would say there is two primary elements to the Autodesk community website forums and ideas I'll start with the forums the forums are well the forums really but there is a forum in this website for literally as far as I know every single Autodesk product going so if you're an AutoCAD user, there's an AutoCAD forum, and obviously the AutoCAD forum is the most popular forum on here, because it's Autodesk's most popular product. But there's also, more relevant to us, there is an Inventor forum, and a Vault forum, which is another thing that I, I deal with. So, depending on the product you use, go to that particular forum, and you'll be presented with a, a landing page for that forum. Each product is split into a number of different forum types so for inventor you'll have a, like a general generic inventor forum where you can just answer, ask and answer questions based on just normal inventor stuff but there's also you know customization for inventor there's uh, more specific inventor modules like inventor publisher engineer to order that sort of stuff but you'll find most of the stuff going on in the general discussion area so if you go into that you'll then be presented with a list of all the threads all the questions people have asked and answered so what do you get here right well obviously it's a list of forum threads with the newest one being the most recent one in the list if you select a thread it'll take you in there and you're free once you're registered to either ask a question or answer a question to answer a question hit reply and type out what you need to say what I can't stress highly enough is you are free to ask any question you want here. There is no prejudice, there's no discrimination, there's no trolling, there's no idiots, there's no abuse, absolutely nothing. This is a 100% professional website and it's highly moderated by Autodesk. So any idiots that do come up, you know, bad eggs with stinking attitudes, they're stamped out immediately. It not, it's not a free speech elimination system either, it's just, you know, those idiots that you get in YouTube comments, we don't want them here. This, this, this is not the place for them. This is professional. It's a professional website. So, ask and answer any question you want. What is also worth knowing, though, is once you've registered, each user is assigned a rank. So, for example, this guy here, Gargamel, right? He's a rank three. He's relatively new to the website. He's only been around for. He's been around less than four weeks, but he's put thirty-seven posts in, and he's been given seven kudos. What the, what the hell's kudos? Kudos is Autodesk's sort of respect or like system. You know, every bloody thing on the internet these days has got this stupid thumbs up thing going on. Which, you know, because everything in life can be explained with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Well, that's Autodesk's kudos system. So if you read something or if you ask a question and someone gives you a good answer, you can say, all right, oh, I thought that answer was really useful. And you can click the thumbs up and that gives that person a kudos. That thumbs up you give them, that kudos, is then registered against their account. So this particular guy, JD Mather, 
together. He's actually a, he's a university professor over in the USA, and he's very active on the forums. He's actually really, really, really helpful. He's given out 30,000 posts. He's got 2,500 kudos, so you know, a lot of people have said, hey, I like what this guy's got to say. And equally as important as kudos is this button here, accept a solution. Now, again, I really, if you're going to start using this website, please, I beg you to use this button as much as you can. If you ask a question and someone answers it, press that button. Tell that person that what they said is a solution because that helps those guys because they've then got a solution registered against them that tells the system and it tells other people that this person's good at giving answers. But also, and just, and I would say actually more importantly enough, when you say this answer is accepted as a solution, the post is registered on the forum as a solution. So if you do type in a question into Google and you find this link later on in the future, you want to know which answer in a page of 10 flipping threads, which answer was the solution. Because you know what forums are like, you get a million people typing, oh I've got this problem too, oh this didn't work, that didn't work, oh bloody hell my, my mother's laptop doesn't print to the... Well, you know, instead of filtering and reading through and wasting your time, it'll tell you immediately which thread in that minefield of bollocks was the answer. So honestly, please use that, use that button and then use that button there. Kudos and accept a solution. So yeah, that's the that's the forums. I mean, the forums are forum. I'm sure you guys know how to use a forum. I've spent a bit of time explaining what a forum is. It's, sorry, a bit condescending and patronizing, but you know, it is a, it is a tip video. Uh, but that's the, uh, that's the forums. Um, what we've also got, if I just stop that from uh, chugging away, as well as the ranks, right? The ranks go up from one to 13, so this guy's a 12, so he's obviously very active, but we've also got this thing here, which is the expert elite tag. Anybody that you see on the community sites that has the expert elite tag against their name is part of a very small, in fact, it's a very, very small group of people. I, th I think there's less than 100, maybe less than 200, I'm not too sure, but there's, in the grand scheme of the, you know, the millions of people that use this website, it's a very small, exclusive group of people. Now, these expert elites have been acknowledged and recognized by Autodesk as being exceptionally useful and knowledgeable within the community. So they've been taken out of the community and assigned this tag and recognized for their contributions. And they've been rewarded with the expert elite tag. So that's good for them. That's good for them. But it's also good for you because when you get an expert elite replying to your question, you know it's coming from a source that's been recognized by Autodesk as being extremely knowledgeable. So for example, this guy here, JD Mother, you, you can see how useful this guy is. I mean, look, this post was posted at 10.25 p.m. yesterday. And within, you know, 13 minutes the guy put an answer down you're not going to get that kind of speedy response from Autodesk support I'm not going to spend my time digging at product support I've done enough of that in the past but you're not going to get an answer within 13 minutes from those guys and if you did it probably wouldn't be a good no I'm not going to go there but yeah so that's the expertly system I myself I am also an expertly you'll have seen the you know the image the logo in my the start of my videos in this video as well so yeah i'm an expert elite there's there's a very there's a few of us and if you get a reply from one of those guys you can you, you can trust the answer as being you know knowledgeable it's not some guy sat in his bedroom with five minutes of product experience behind him just trying to you know bump up his score or waste people's time you know so yeah that's the uh, that's the expert elite system as well as the expert elite system it is definitely it is definitely worth pointing out as well that Autodesk staff are very active in the forum area. So that's more prevalent over in the Vault forums. So mainly because Vaults are more specialized area and it's, it's, it is more difficult to troubleshoot Vault questions over the internet without seeing the problem firsthand. So Autodesk staff like to come in and give a bit of assistance here. So for example, when you're looking at the forum area and you're looking at the, the names of the people that have replied, there's me there. Uh, people in bold are expert elites. People with a normal tag are just normal forum users. Anybody with a black uh, name in you know in a black font, they are Autodesk employees. So Senthil, he's uh, he's a developer over in uh, the USA, and he's came in. This guy's posted a question. He's got an error with his vault, and this Autodesk employee has come in and offered some assistance. So. That is very reassuring 
it is very reassuring. You're getting answers from the, the and this isn't product support either. Senthil himself is on the Vault QA team, he's a developer. You also, in addition to developers, you get product managers answering questions and providing advice within the forums. Product managers are a group of people. There's, there's several product managers per Autodesk product, but the product managers are responsible for product decisions, what goes into the products, what changes in the products each release. And those guys are also extremely active in the forums. And when you get an answer from those guys, it's coming from a very high up source. So, you know, you're not on your own here. Put a question at the forum. If you don't get one of us, answering it you could get someone from Autodesk very likely you could get someone from Autodesk answering your questions as well so that's the that's the forums what I did say at the start of the video is that the forums uh, it's this community website it's not just about forums you also have this thing here called the ideas area known as the idea station what is the idea station well you may have heard in the past of something called the wishlist system if you'd asked a question or you'd give an opinion about something to either Autodesk, to the forums, or to your reseller, you might have got the answer, well, I'll put it on the wish list. You put it on the wish list, or you know, it's already on the wish list. The wish list is obviously a list of things which Autodesk were going to consider or have been told to consider to put into a future release. That's now changed. It's now called the Idea Station. It's a community-fed area where anybody anybody who's registered that includes you if you're registered in the forums you're free to go to the idea station for a particular product so for example inventor and you're free to say to autodesk hey i've got an idea type it in and there's me <laughs> there's me so the first idea in the idea station is uh, an idea by me so my particular idea is when you're an inventor and you pick a material or a texture the list's too small it's too narrow if you've got a long texture name it gets cut off and there's no way of grabbing it and making this box bigger my idea is just give us a little grab box there and expand that out that's a typical example of an idea that you could put in the idea station now when you do put an idea on the idea station the whole purpose of this is that it's upvoted and it's upvoted via the old kudos system so as of when i posted this uh, three or four days ago and it's 14 people have said yeah that's a good idea i think we're yeah that should be in the product uh, 10 people is the next one, and the next one down from that, uh, 9 people, 62 people want this one. So, uh, what happens then is Autodesk look at the idea station. Obviously, there is thousands of ideas on the idea station, but Autodesk have to look at them, see which ones have got the most votes, and then they have to evaluate them and decide whether or not it's something they can put in the product or they want to put in the product. So, the, the message here, just to summarize my long patter, is look at the idea station if you think something's useful click the little kudos button upvote it the more upvotes they get Autodesk will take more notice of it on the right hand side in the toolbox when you're in the idea station it'll give you a hyperlink so you can see what new ideas which ideas Autodesk have already accepted and will go into a future product and which ones are already in the product so which ideas they've already taken from this and put into inventor so uh, it's it, it actually it doesn't make good reading does it there's actually this two and a half thousand ideas and they've only put 83 in it's a little bit embarrassing but you know I'm sure it's it's not as easy as that you know they, they have time restraints and commercial factors to take into into account but you know that it's the only way you it's the only thing you have to get your thoughts and your opinions and your feelings over to Autodesk do not use the idea station as a ranting area if you you know if you're sick of inventor because it's slow or you've you know it's crashed and you've lost some work Please do not use it to vent your frustrations. It's not about that. Your idea will just get taken off. It's not about restricting free speech either. It's about keeping the, the integrity of the idea station. So use it wisely, use it fairly, and uh, you'll, you get out of it what you put into it. So for the idea station, there's, uh, there's an idea station per product. Uh, probably not for every product, but for most of the major products, they'll have an idea station, and uh, you're free to use it. Uh, as much as you want and, and, and it is free okay about to wrap this up a few other things to just to take note of right the forum website the community website is fucking notoriously painfully slow depending on where you are in the world you'll have noticed as clicking links well in advance of us actually expecting it to load because it is fuck my life it's slow apologies for swearing but it is awful 
the orders do kick the hamster a couple of times to uh, give it a bit of a boost but it grinds to a halt very quickly so you, you need a bit of patience when you're navigating around this area because uh, you can find yourself waiting for quite some time. I myself as you've seen I've posted a few links on here I've been I'm quite active in here I'm mainly active myself if you're interested in uh, potentially getting some answers from me you'll mainly find me in the inventor forums but more so in the vault forums um, I tend not to go in the AutoCAD forums at all there's far more knowledgeable people uh, on AutoCAD than I am so I tend to leave the AutoCAD forums forums well alone they're, they're well looked after by some very very experienced guys um, the inventor forum is very busy uh, it can be frustratingly busy actually you can post something in there and within an hour you post sort of off the page by you know by people who are asking questions how do I model this how do I model that so it, 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 you'll still definitely get an answer because it is very busy uh, but myself, my main speciality, which uh, you wouldn't think so because I do an inventor channel, but my main speciality, my main area of expertise is Vault. You'll find me all the time in the Vault forums because uh, that's what I do. That's what I do for a living is Vault. Inventor on the side, but Vault is my thing. So uh, you'll find me there. Okay, I think that's about it. That'll do for now. That's the community website, forums.autodesk.com. Get over there, get signed up. And uh, whilst you're at it, press like on the video. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'd prefer a subscribe, actually, if I'm honest. If, 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 I'm, if you're being stingy on the likes and the subscribes, if you're saying, Oi, you've got one, pick. Well, I'll pick subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, put a comment down below if you've got any thoughts and feelings on anything in the world. You know, if you've got any questions, yeah, it's, as long as it's not where babies come from, just put that down in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you in another video, I guess.